Hey guys, Clarice here, and I am really looking forward to this because today we are watching Field of Dreams. And after having seen the Oscars, uh, I know that John Mulaney made an entire stint about Field of Dreams, and I can't watch that until I watch the movie. So I'm so John Mulaney essentially made me write this, and also the reason I'm actually watching this is because this is a Patreon request. So if you guys are watching this on YouTube, special thank you to the patron who actually requested this, and it was just timely that John Mulaney happened to do that at the Oscars. Now I know the line from Field of Dreams. I know if you build it, they will come. I know that. Um, and that's about it. I'm really looking forward to it. I know that it's a good film. I have a history of this uh, film with uh, sketch comedy and a, and a sketch that uh, some of my classmates wrote back in acting school. I'll tell you guys more about that later. Um, but that was where my interest in Field of Dreams came in, but I never got around to watching it. Um, <laughs> so I'll share with that story later on. So if you guys are interested, let's keep on watching. And if you like this video consider giving it a like subscribe if you want to support the channel and if you further want to support the channel the best way is always through patreon on my patreon i offer full-length reactions to all of my videos and for premium you can get your very own clarice reaction which is why this reaction is happening today so with all that if you guys are interested links are down below and let's just get into it all right first time i'm actually watching field of dreams man this this movie has followed me since acting school because some friends of mine were writing a sketch where part of this movie was like a joke in it, but I never got around to watching it. Dad was a Yankees fan then, so of course I rooted for Brooklyn. <laughs> but in f I marched, I smoked some grass. Nice. I tried. Annie and I got married in June of 74. Dad died that fall. Aww, a few years man. Later, Karen was He's on his farm, looks like a corn farm. Yo, there it is! Is the thing! Is the thing! That voice just now, what was it? God? My 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 money's on it's probably God. Or or maybe it's an angel referring to God. Or something else, because they're saying he will come. So I'm like, well, who's coming? Who's he? It's just good old dad listening to the good lord. <laughs> Again, it's the third time. Come on. And he bought out a farm. That's what I was thinking is, whoa, to own a farm and a big old land like that and a big house. I don't even want to think about how much of a deal they probably got that property for. Is there water in the house? Bruh. <laughs> I just know the line. I don't fully understand the context, so. <laughs> Good evening, Mr. Dog. Hmm, what Jimmy Stewart film is that? I'm not familiar. Wonder Bread. The voice. Did you ever hear voices out there? Who's hearing voices? <laughs> <laughs> it kind of almost feels like they know something he don't, but I think it's more of just people's innate, like, judgmental curiosity of being like, oh, you hearing voices? Like, are you going crazy kind of thing? I want to know if he's going to be any good at farming. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Who the Build what? What am I building and who is coming? Like a big baseball field? Oh, the guy Joe. I thought it might mean that since they were talking about old Joe from the White Sox. Well, I don't know if he was from the White Sox. He just mentioned him. I did know that this film had to do with baseball. Now that we have that information. It is a wild idea. It's a very Noah-esque journey. He's dead. What? What? Is he actually dead or is he just suspended? I don't know. I'm a little confused. Why well, blame him? That's a, that's a blessing to be able to grow old. Mm. Mm. He just wants to achieve something, pursue a dream. He's got to start drawing up a crowd, I'm sure. Good old John Green Tractor. Let's go. Tina's team, the Chicago White Sox, they threw the World Series. They lost it. They on lost it on purpose. Gamblers paid them to. Mm. Except she was Joe. I think there's still a bit of there's not a bit, a good chunk of grief, very much still there, and complicated feelings. That's what I like about it. Honestly, it's so fast too. I'm impressed by how fast the field was built. I thought the movie was maybe gonna be like a whole. The majority of the time is just him trying to build the field. That's insane. <laughs> it's already done, and we're like. We're like, what, like 20 minutes in? And at least a couple of those first minutes were like just credits. I don't know what the rest of the movie's about. <laughs> I thought it was about building a baseball field. <laughs> mm. 
the snow. Break oh, yeah, I mean, that's to be expected. That's really to be expected. In a minute, Karen. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> How is he? <laughs> well, you're kind of shit. <laughs> Can you talk? Reconcile. Word. <laughs> what? I gotta say though, I will say, of all the sports, I actually enjoy baseball, personally. <laughs> like, I actually enjoy it. I grew up enjoying baseball. I can't tell you all the things, but it, it, it's been a minute. But I actually do really enjoy the game. <laughs> Don't fuck it up! Nice. See if you can hit my curve. <laughs> can you actually curve the ball? God damn! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, yep, 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 there you go. The sounds, the smells. It really sucks that he got suspended. Did you ever hold <gasps> is he a, is he a spirit? Is he a ghost? Is he a spirit? Are mm -hmm. you a ghost? Yeah, that's what I'm asking. Are you, is he a ghost? Come inside. I don't think he can. Yo, are they legit talking to like an angel? Or like a ghost or a spirit of a man? There are others, you know. What? Seven. Iowa. <laughs> well now my partners will give you more than fair price. Ah, oh, okay, he's just trying to sell it, okay. Or he's trying to buy it. I mean, it's I you never like Because it's bringing back to life dead baseball players. <laughs> Is he going to play with them? Oh my god, they just showed up! Oh my goodness! The field just like attracts the ghosts of fallen all-star baseball players? <laughs> like... Aww... If you'd have run like that against Detroit, I'd have won 20 games that year! Cody, that was 68 years ago! Give it up, will ya? Yeah... Come on, asshole! Pitch! Aww... Hi, kid! It's okay, I don't mind. Oh, she's so cute. Little Cam is so cute. So I thought you two were gonna watch some game. Because it's not really a game; it's more like a practice. They can't see anything. Eight of what? Yep. They can't yeah. see him. Only he can. Only the family can. I mean, it's kind of funny. It's a little funny. It's a little funny. This is really interesting. It is. It is very interesting. What's going on there? Why can't other people see them, but the whole family can, like the three of them can. See you guys. I'm very curious, why are they the only people that can see them? That is so cool. I mean, it is. It's cool. Like, it's very cool. <laughs> what? Oh, here we go. Okay, we got more commands. Sorry, what? I... Okay, we have more commands. I didn't understand. What? What's the pain? What pain? Right. Give me a vision or something. Give me context. Smut and filth like this has no place in our schools. Fascist. <laughs> that book you're waving about is hardly smut. It's not. And its author, Mr. Mann. Man is a Pulitzer Prize yeah, I was like, and it's widely the mongrelization of the races and disrespect to high-ranking officers of the United States Army. Coin the phrase, make love, not war. And I think if you had experienced even a little bit of the 60s, you might feel the same way too. I experienced the 60s. You had two 50s and moved right on into the 70s. Anyway. <laughs> You're he is not a book burner, you Nazi cow. Oh, let's go. I'm not married to the biggest horse's ass in three counties. All right, Beulah, do you want to step outside? Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you don't mess with like Let's Midwestern Southern women, right. Midwestern Who's or Southern women. Here? Who wants to burn books? For real. Who wants to spit on the 
I mean, I don't know when Fahrenheit 451 came out. But that's what I thought of. <laughs> like, I'm thinking of that and other books that are about, like, novels that are about, like, burning books and knowledge. And I'm like, <laughs> did these come out then, since this is in the 70s? I still just can't get over her calling it smut. I'm like, right, girl, just go. just wait a little bit. <laughs> it's gonna get so much worse. <laughs> and it's man? No. I know. I know. I know. I love her. She's so spunky. What's Terrence Mann got to do? Yeah, what's it got to do with baseball? Hey, real quick, I had to look it up because Terrence Mann. There are multiple influential like people under that name, so I thought it was a real person, but I had to look it up because I'm like, wait, this could be a made up person for the movie. So I had to look it up because there are a few Terrence Manns like because there's like an actor named Terrence Mann. I believe there's like a basketball player. So I had to make sure. And so now I just saw that Ter this Terrence Mann is essentially the fictionalized version of what is based on from what I read of J.D. Salinger, which makes a lot of sense. So now knowing that that's essentially meant to be based off of J.D. Salinger makes a lot of sense. I do remember kind of in my school literature classes briefly like being told history historically, like when some of these books were coming out, you know, like you're catching the rise, 1984s, all these things that kind of, you know, subvert and go against the societal expectations and norms of the times, especially that were set from the nuclear family in the 50s. Parents really didn't like that kind of evolution. And they really went in on trying to get these kinds of books banned and stuff like that. So yeah, that makes sense. That's cool. I like that choice. I, I, I think that's a cool choice. And uh, I'm excited to see where that goes, because this has got to do with anything with baseball. There's a story here, it's called, this is not a pipe. He wrote a story, a character that man created 26 years ago is named John Kinsella. My father, what do you mean wow? What do you want me to say big wow? What's it got to do with baseball? <laughs> I like Annie. I like Annie. She's so straight up about it, I like it. The guy was a baseball fanatic, listen to this. Early is Terrence Mann gonna be played by James Earl Jones? So, in order to ease his pain, you're supposed to take him to a ball game. Yeah, why not? That field ate up all of our savings. We could I, won't even I mean, stay in hotel. I mean, no, it's a no, lot. No. They're behind on their mortgage, even if that mortgage probably couldn't even buy us a nice meal at a decent restaurant today. But it's a mortgage. Fenway, the one big green one. No. <laughs> I was eating a hot dog. I the same room. <laughs> I'll help you pack. Aww. Supernatural forces. <laughs> he lives right around here, you know? Sort of a tall black man. I'm a, I'm a friend of his. He was much of a friend to give you the directions himself. Hmm. Two blocks down, right hand side. Nice. Who the hell are you? <laughs> My name's Ray Kinsella. Oh my god! <laughs> we got a learning disability here. Mr. Man, if I could just have one minute, please. I'm no longer a public figure, so piss off. Oh my god, use your hands! Use your hands! I've it's just his voice, like, goddamn. <laughs> okay, I understand. The universe opens itself up for a few seconds to show you what's possible. Oh my god, you're from the 60s. Oh, hey! Oh my, oh my god! Oh my god! Get back while you still can! Peace, love, dope! Now get the hell out of here! Mm. <laughs> Just imagine him getting annoyed by Kevin Costner all day! <laughs> he is not. <laughs> Gun, what do you think it is? It's your finger. Why don't you tell him about the. Why don't you tell him about the game? Say so you're a pacifist. <laughs> I don't know if I ever knew James Earl Jones had light eyes. I spent all my misery years ago. Mm. I have no more pain left for any of you. I want them to stop looking to me for answers, begging mm. me to speak again. I want them to start thinking for themselves and mm. want my privacy. I mean, that's fair. Totally yeah. fair. A hot dog. Dog and a beer. Nice. 
I like to know if that's still there. Like, if Fenway, I'm sure Fenway Park has been modernized. I've never been. It would be super cool to go to Fenway Park uh, to see the Sox play. That would be super cool. Um, but obviously, this came out a long time ago. I just like to know if the green like wall there is still exists in some form in Fenway Park. The what? Nope. You got another message, didn't you? I think I'm crazy. I already think you're crazy. Say. <laughs> now I'm just curious. Your crazy is intriguing. Man. Said go to the distance. Oh hey! Moonlight <laughs> Graham. Son. New York Giants, 1922. He played one game, never got to bat. Did you hear it? Go the distance. Yes. We're going to Minnesota to find Moonlight Graham. I must be out of my mind. <laughs> okay. We find him. How the hell am I supposed to know that? Okay. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> okay. So let's go. I don't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> I mean, but what else was he gonna do with it? I mean, <laughs> this is I I have no idea. This is what the story's about. <laughs> yes. He wanted to. He's driving too. Look at him. Okay. <laughs> she a good supportive wife. She a good supportive wife. Oh. <gasps> But she can't sign it away. He needs to be there. No, no. And. What do you mean, Doc Gray? No, I think his nickname was. Mo Doc Grave is dead. He died in 19. Glasses or the milk or the ticket to the ball game. Writer. So are you. Oh, she knows who he is. Who's the umbrella for? I think it got to be a hair, but you know, something to hang on to. The children, JD finances. Mm -hmm. Sure, Joe had a problem. They needed you. his father, who notified police after receiving no answer to repeat telephone call. Call him. Yeah, yeah. call him. I mean, <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> what do I tell him? Hmm. Yeah. What? Do, what do you tell him? <laughs> I went on a weird trip with a random guy that showed up in my house. <laughs> now I'm in Minnesota. Hmm. <laughs> Godfather. Yeah, that's true. It's not this year. I need to just watch. <laughs> it's 72. He's in 1972. There he is. Are you Moon Graham? No one's called me Moonlight Graham and Fish. Hold oh, a You mind if I join you? Let's walk over to my office. Last day of the Suddenly, old John McGraw points it in my direction. And Grabbed my glove and ran out on the field. Mm. Never hit the ball out of the infield. Mm. I couldn't bear the thought of another year. Mm. So I, I decided to hang him up. It was like having him. This close to your dream. Mm. And then watch them brush past you. Crowd. Every other day. Wow. And now Ray can sell it. All the way from Iowa. To talk to me about it. 50 years of it happening. A dream. Chance to squint at a sky so blue that the sky is just... I wish we can say. This is my most special place in all the world. You're supposed to be. Mm hmm. It would kill some men to get that close to their dream and not touch it. They'd consider it a tragedy. Son, if I'd only gotten to be a doctor for. Mm hmm. Now I don't know why and how we were supposed to come here. Mm. He's gotten a hit. Played in baseball. Yeah. Ray. Finally. Find a soul to know. Ah. <gasps> Mark. Mm. Ray. Don't have the. I mean, yeah. Pick uh, Mr. Man. No. Oh, he's coming with you. 
I'm going to Iowa with you. Oh? Coming home. Okay. Okay, Mr. Mayor. Okay. Ballpark. Yeah, for real. <laughs> it's like, I gotta see this thing that's bringing dead people alive. To play baseball, of all me. things. You're the first car by. How far are you going? How far are you going? Iowa. I play baseball. Hop in. Bye. <laughs> Gosh, I love what James Earl Jones is doing throughout this. It's just so much of like his jolly whimsy in his eyes. Just like those little glimmers of like, <laughs> you gotta be shitting me. I love what he's doing. It's so great. It's just, there's something so pure about the way that he's showing it in his face that I really enjoy. They can play ball nights and weekends. Hmm. This is your lucky day, kid. We're going someplace kind of like that. I'm Who is this guy? Solo. This is Terrence Mann. Who is this? Hi. I'm Archie Graham. What happened to your father? He never made it as a ball player, so he tried to get his son to make it for him. So when I was 14, I started to refuse. Aww. Why 14? Boat Rocker by Terrence Mann. Oh, God. <laughs> That's the kind of crap people always try to lay on me. It's not my fault you wouldn't play catch with your father. I know. <laughs> That's fun. It's like, no, you, Terrence Mann, you're the root of my trauma. <laughs> your book enlightened me. <laughs> I packed my thing, said something awful, and left. Mm. After a while, I wanted to come home, but I didn't know how. Made it back to the funeral. Oh. What was the awful thing you said? That I could never respect a man whose hero was a criminal. Mm. Who was his hero? Who was his hero? Joe Jackson. Oh, wow. You knew he wasn't a criminal. 17. Yeah. <laughs> Dependence. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's... At least you can do is bring back his hero. That's definitely it. Now, now I know what everybody's purpose here is. Mm-hmm. Except mine. Yeah. Mm. There it is with the lights. Parents, man. Harry. Welcome. Archie Grant. Archie. Come to practice with the. Oh, like everybody's there. Wow. Look at all these guys. Welcome back. Thanks, oh, you can see them. Oh <laughs> Yay! Joe Jackson. I mean, you didn't believe me. <laughs> but like now I'm seeing it. Good to see you. Harry. <laughs> I'd like you to meet you. It's Joe Jackson. Wow. So we got tired of just having practices, but we brought another team out with us so we could have some real games. I don't mind. Nice. Where'd they come from? Where did we come from? I mean <laughs> guys want Cobb wanted to play. This could stand a son of a bitch when we were alive. So we told him to stick it. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, are you Graham? Sir? How do you know him? You doing on the side? You came to play ball, didn't you? Yes, sir. All right, we'll go warm up. Okay. Yes, sir. Aww. Unbelievable. Yes. <laughs> it's more than that. That's amazing. It's perfect. I mean, it's a miracle. It's a whole miracle. That's amazing. Doesn't strike anything. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, he is. Oh. <laughs> Try it again. What the kid for? Winked at me. Don't wink, kid. Good thing for you, we didn't throw the fastball, kid. Damn. <laughs> I see that fast ball. Ooh! Come on, give us a break! Watch out you don't get killed. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna wanna load the bases. Blowing away. Watch out for in your... Mmm. Okay. 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 
Yay! Oh, let's go! Yay! Yay! You did it! <laughs> oh. hmm. What the heck is happening now, though? Like, how's this gonna end? I'm wondering, like, is Terrence, is his role maybe to, maybe this is his next thing that he's gonna write? Hi. No. Oh. Hi. Hey, it's time to put on your little fantasies and come down to Earth. It's not a fantasy, Mark. They're real. Can't yeah, yeah. See Can't see any of them. Who's this? Elvis? Elvis? Matter of fact, it's Terrence Mann. Hi. How do you do? I'm the Wait, listen. <laughs> I love it. So much of this is just James Earl Jones laughing. I kind of love it. Look, I'm not. <laughs> He's so giddy. Look, I'm not no money. I mean, you have yeah. a stack of bills to choke up. You have no money. You got no crop to sell. We'll leave the house. You can what, live on it rent free what, as long as you want. What about the baseball? Right? You realize how much this land is worth? Yeah. I mean, it's definitely worth a lot. The land is definitely worth a lot. Read my lips, Mark. We're staying, all right? We're staying. Ray, you're bankrupt. My partners, Ray, they don't give a damn about you, and they're ready to foreclose right now. Daddy, mm. we don't have to sell the farm. Karen, what's she gonna say? Please, just wait. Wait, what's wait. this Karen? Karen's on to something? People will come. What, what people, sweetheart? They'll come to Iowa City. I think it's really boring. So they'll drive up and want to pay us. Uh, seriously, listening to this, are ya? Wow. What the hell is she talking about? Who will come? All right, all right, all right, all right. This is fascinating. It is. That's so cute. The oh my god. You don't. People will come, Ray. Yeah. Arrive at your door, innocent as children, longing for the past. It's only twenty dollars per person. Pass over the money without even thinking about it. Ray, just sign the papers. Walk out to the bleachers mm -hmm. where they sat when they were children, cheered their heroes, and they'll watch the game. Ray, when the bank opens in the morning, they'll foreclose. People will come, Ray. You're broke, Ray. They'll come! Or you lose everything. You built it, they will come! The constant has been erased like a blackboard, rebuilt and erased again. Feel this game the part of our past, Ray. He will most definitely come. Ray, you will lose everything. Come on, Ray. <gasps> it's the voice! That sounded like the voice. Oh, you're crazy. Absolutely nuts! Y you build a baseball field in the middle of nowhere and you sit here and you stare at nothing. Turn your daughter into a damn space. Get your case. hands off! I'm trying to help you, right. damn it! <gasps> the fuck? Dude, no! No, 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 no! 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 Anyway. What? Well, what's happening? What's happening? <gasps> oh. Get here. 
<laughs> yes, now he can finally see it. <laughs> now he can finally see it. Hey, Rookie! Nice going. You were good. Yay! Aww. Not sell this farm, Ray. <laughs> you gotta keep this farm. Yeah, finally. Go inside and get some gold. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. I'm gonna call it a day. Okay. See you tomorrow. Okay. okay. All right. Hey, do you want to come with us? Hmm. What do you mean? You mean? No, not you. Terrence. Him. Oh. <gasps> him. You. Is he I'm dead? There. Wait a second. Wait a second. Why him? Wait, is he dead? Is he, is he also a ghost? Did he die? What? Well, it. you wouldn't be here I'm for what? You have a family. I know, but I want to know what's out there. I mean, I'm not invited. It's not That's his my time. corn out there. You guys are guests in my corn. Right. <laughs> no, wait. I have done everything I've been asked to do. I didn't understand it, but I've done it. I think you better stay here, Ray. I gave an interview. What? What interview? What are you talking about? About Evans Field, one that charged you up and sent you all the way to Boston to find me. Lied to me. But you were kidnapping me at the time, you big jerk. Well, you lied to me. <laughs> you said your finger was a gun. If I had the courage to go through with this, what a story it'll make. Okay, so he's just being chosen to see it. He's just being chosen to see it. Okay. I want a full description. Take care of this family. What's what's it gonna be? What's it gonna what's gonna happen? Are we actually going to get to see it? <laughs> gotta get, gotta size it up. <laughs> what is it? What are you grinning at, you ghost? Mm-hmm. If you build it, we'll come. <gasps> Stop. God. What? What is it? My father. Oh my Jesus God. God. I can't get over how the actor looks like Matt Dillon, but I can't tell if it's Matt Dillon. Man! Did all you guys cry at Field of Dreams? Let dream. me know if you cried at Field of Dreams. Well, for me, it's like a dream come true. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> it's Iowa. <gasps> play catch. Play catch with him. This is heaven. Hey, Dad? You want to have a catch? I'd like that. Catch with your dad. <gasps> Look and there they come. Oh my. Wow. Oh, that was so good. I can't keep crying now. Oh, it was something very sweet there at the end. It says that this was for our parents. No, I'm just gonna keep crying now, okay? I get it now. So as promised, <laughs> that was Feel the Dreams. And I have to share because now I have full context. <laughs>
and I am crying. Oh gosh, back in back in acting school, I was in a sketch comedy class, and we were coming up with this sketch um, that was kind of uh relevant to some of the things at the time uh because this would have been like back in like 2016 at least almost eight years ago or so and we were making a sketch kind of loosely based off of the notion of the bro code you know we're like bros before hoes and like any other kind of like stereotypical like bros watch out for each other type of thing um and it was supposed to be this kind of like funny sketch to play on uh, kind of the tropes of masculinity and toxic masculinity and just kind of like poke fun at it and, and have a fun time of like, um, and so what we did was this idea that, so the idea was that it was like a pocket version of like a manual that tells you the literal bro code. And when we were, when we were, um, brainstorming it uh in our little like writer's room writer circle uh we were throwing around different jokes as you do kind of seeing what's gonna work and then at a point we were like well we have to do uh something uh so there were only two girls myself and another uh fellow friend of mine we were the only people that were in the we were thruh, what am i saying we were the only girls in the sketch in the sketch troupe uh in the sketch writing troupe the rest were all guys so we were thinking we were like well we have to do something about men crying because you know men just societally get put on this notion that they can't cry and so we were like yes we need to have something about like men not crying and like uh, so that they're able to something like that like that was kind of the notion of the joke and without missing a beat this one guy he was not a member of the class. I, if I remember correctly, I feel like he needed internship hours. So he was like assisting our, our sketch comedy teacher. And so he was just like the majority of the time he would just kind of sit there, kind of chill on his phone, kind of be around, like not really do much because he, he wasn't technically part of the class. And without missing a beat, we said, we were like, oh yeah, boys can't cry or like men can't cry type of thing. Like that was, that was what we were spitballing. And without missing a beat, he goes, except if you watch Phil of Dreams. He literally just goes, he's like, except if it's filled with dreams, everybody can cry at filled with dreams. And all of the men synonymously just like nod in unison. <laughs> and it was the funniest thing of just being like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, you can cry at filled with dreams. <laughs> and I was like, what is this movie that's like so, so moving that it'll like make you cry. And so we kind of kept that in the bit where it was like, where, um, <laughs> we kept that in the bit somehow where it was like bro code you can't cry and it's like yes i can i'm watching field of dreams like it was it was something along that and that was my introduction to to the film field field of dreams but other than that they just the way we incorporated it we just put it in by say like having the tv play and you just hear like if you build it they will come and like <laughs> the guys are just sobbing <laughs> And so it was, it was a fun time. It doesn't quite make much sense, but it was, <laughs> it was a fun time in my acting school. I really enjoyed that sketch comedy class. I learned a lot about sketch comedy writing and how very, very hard it was um, and how very, very difficult it is. Uh, so credit to anyone who can write sketch comedy well. Uh, but yeah, outside of that, that was Field of Dreams after almost 10 years of first hearing about it, I finally saw it. And wow, it was so lovely. It was so nice. Speaking of somewhat, I didn't know that this would have anything to do with kind of like the grief undertones. And yes, I clocked dreams, but I didn't think that they were all going to be like, you know, I, I didn't think that they were all going to be like dead people, like living out their dreams in heaven. That's really beautiful. Um, but just kind of being a bit transparent, this is, at the time of filming this, this will, if it comes out to YouTube, it will be a long, long time. But at the time of filming this is the anniversary of when I lost a uh, very, very dear family member. And so I didn't, I didn't think, that this would, <laughs> I didn't clock that this would be that, but just kind of sitting with that grief, and watching a very, just a heartwarming movie like this, I think it was kind of the best thing for me. Today wasn't the best, but this was really nice. It was really, really nice. So thank you to the patron that requested this because, um, thank you to the patron that requested this because you're the reason I'm watching it. And as life or God, whatever you want to call it, will have it, he 
made it so that I'm watching this movie and I feel comforted. So thank you for that. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Um, yeah, so outside of that, that was Field of Dreams. That was a lovely movie. It had... It went in such a different way than I expected. I didn't clock that we would be just following kind of him on a journey with James Earl Jones throughout cross country. Like after about 20 minutes, I didn't think that that was going to be the plot of the story, but it was really lovely and beautiful. I literally thought that the majority of the story was going to be him building the baseball field. I thought it was going to be like a Noah's Ark type of thing where it takes forever and nobody like believes him. But no, this was, uh, this was much better. <laughs> this was, this was much better than what I thought it would be and I had a great time so let me know if you guys enjoyed Field of Dreams when you first saw it did you cry along with me is this a cry film is this a heartwarming film for you let me know down in the comments below and with all of that uh thank you guys so much thank y'all for watching if you want to check out some more videos you can click over here or you can click over there I had a great time with you guys and as always I wish all of you love joy happiness and all of the wonderful things in this life thank Thank y'all so much for watching. Take care and I will see you next time. Bye bye.